As a novice, you've heard a lot of people talk about the life-changing opportunity that the cryptocurrency actually presents, right? And you're just there because you have no basic knowledge, no idea how exactly you want to get started. Well, that's about to change right about now because I have you in mind preparing this video and this video is for you. Or maybe if you are a seasoned trader and you've discovered that each time you place a trade, the trade just go away to your stop loss, cut you off the market and begins to go away to your prediction. All right, so before we dive right into this video, few things. If you're a beginner to cryptocurrency and you've never heard about cryptocurrency, but you want to get started and you're looking for the right exchange to get started, how to get started or the right proceedings to get started, futures trading, spot trading, you want to know every single thing about crypto trading. Like you don't want to pay for any cost, you don't want to buy any cost, you want to get the full knowledge. You know, Binance is a world leading exchange and if you are a novice, trust me, if you're a beginner or a novice, and you want to get started i would recommend you using the binance application because it's very simple and its simplicity makes it easy for beginners trader to actually scale through the whole nother crypto space easily so if you want to get started i would recommend you actually start it with the binance app and this right here now you see this guide right here is called the 100 ways to earn on binance the binance ultimate paybook now this book right here gives you every single thing you need to get started if you have no knowledge no basic knowledge it's not a readable book but it's an instruction and guidelines if you could implement every single thing in this book to your binance application trust me you're going to be set for a wonderful and successful crypto experience. This book right here is for novice and including seasoned traders as well because there is futures market right here and everything you need to set up your gear for a profitable futures trading. And trust me, you don't want to miss this one because if you have this, you're surely definitely making profit. So, so you could get this right here. You could search for it on Google. Once you open up your Google, your Chrome, you just type in the ultimate Binance Paybook, 100 ways to end on Binance. You could get this. You can get it from Amazon or seller.co if you are within Africa. But well, if you're outside Africa, I would advise you go over to Amazon and get your copy. It's very, very important you have this. And that's not all. I also have something for those of you who are seasoned traders, who love trading, and you've been hearing about the bull market, right? It's almost bull market. Everybody's saying what's going to happen after the halving. And you want to make sure you make more profit. You get to make more than normal profit, right? You need this. Now, this is called the Crypto Millionaire. The ultimate guide to 10x your wealth in this bull run. Now it's a bull run, and you really need this because every single strategy you need as a seasoned trader to make profit and in fact make more profit compared to every other traders is right here. These are insiders secured by the gurus of the market. And trust me, if you have this, you're surely gonna enjoy a successful crypto experience. This is real. This is real. Nobody's sharing this out there with you, but if you get this, it's what I'm using. So if you get it definitely you're sure to be making profits like i do but definitely certain to get results it's real and finally that's where the problem is pay attention this is going to happen to a lot of people including you yes including you if you remember 2020 2021 the past bull run a lot of people make a lot of money in fact millions people who don't know anything about cryptocurrency came in because it was a boom market they made lots of profit lots of profit they were even shocked but something happened. The bull run took all the profit back. I know a lot of people who actually made up to 100K, but were only able to sustain just 10,000. That's a huge loss. You can't make money in the bull run, and then because the bull run is going and it's coming onto a bearish market, you're losing all those money. No, you need to secure your profit. And the only way to do that is to do what the big dogs are actually doing in the market. Have the insider secret on when the market is gonna go down when the bull run is actually going to end and how you can actually maintain your profit when the bear market comes because trust me a lot of people are going to fall now there's one secret nobody has shown you and i have that right here for you you see this this is called profit in the pandemonium now this is an insider secret of the bear market how to know the bear market what to do when the bears actually comes because trust me a lot of you will be confused you won't even know when the bear market will actually start the bull market may actually last a couple of months, but trust me, you won't be told when the bear market will come. And if you have a lot of profit, the bear market could take more and even take more of your capital as well. So make sure you get this. This is the most important guide you need. Profit in the pendulum. It's going to help you a lot. So make sure you get it. You don't want to lose all the profit you make to the bear market. All right. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's move on to exactly 
what we are doing today. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started in the world of cryptocurrency as a novice trader. If you have no knowledge about the blockchain you're hearing trading for the very first time, I'm going to tell you exactly all you need to get started. If you watch this one, you can go ahead and get started with trading the crypto space. Now, firstly, let's go to the first thing. When you hear cryptocurrency, you hear Bitcoin, you hear blockchain, right? Let's do it sequentially. Now, firstly, you want to look into what the blockchain is. A lot of seasoned traders, a lot of people who are trading cryptocurrency, who claim to be advanced traders, don't really know exactly what the blockchain is or how the blockchain actually works. I'm going to give you a very short explanation of the blockchain and I'm not going to do any test with definition right here. Now, when you talk about the blockchain, I want you to look at the blockchain as a ledger, a ledger, a digital ledger, or a record book that stores information across a network of computers. And each block in the chain contains a list of transactions. Each block in the chain, right, contains a list of transactions. And each time a new transaction occurs, it is being added to the chain as a new block. Now, maybe you're not understandable. As we move on, you're definitely going to understand it. Now, what makes the blockchain actually different or what makes the blockchain actually special is that once an information is added to the chain, it's very, very difficult to change or be tempered with because each block contains a unique code, a unique code that's called a cryptographic hash and it's referenced by previous transaction. Now, what do I mean? Is if you have if you're having a, a first transaction to be 0001234, the next one should be, the next one is going to be 0001234.5, which means it's kind of sequential. Now, this creates a chain of block that is linked together, hence the name blockchain. So, the blockchain technology allows for secure, transparent, and decentralized record keep of transaction without relying on any central authority like the banks. And this is often used in cryptocurrency, but it goes beyond that. The blockchain is not just used for cryptocurrency. It goes way beyond that, including supply chain management, voting system. Yeah, voting system. Trust me, it allows a very good transparent voting system. Yeah, the blockchain can be used for that. So the blockchain is actually unique, not just to cryptocurrency, not just for the crypto space. It goes way more than that. Now, I'm not talking about the blockchain has actually bore you. Now, let's move into the cryptocurrency. Now, in the cryptocurrency, I know a lot of you, when you hear about cryptocurrency, the first thing that actually comes to your mind is the Bitcoin. Now, you need to understand that the Bitcoin is part of the cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency entails the whole crypto in the market, which includes the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and every other other coin. Now, as a new trader to the crypto space, you should know exactly what makes Bitcoin different from every other altcoin? In the beginning, Bitcoin was actually created as a decentralized alternative for traditional P2P currency, which means it was created as a decentralized alternative for your local currency. So I want us to look at the major difference between Bitcoin and every other crypto coin in the market. Now let's use Ethereum. Since Ethereum is the head of the author coin, we use Ethereum versus the Bitcoin. Now the Ethereum on the other hand, that major purpose was for creating decentralized finances. Why the Bitcoin was simply initiated as a decentralized, as a decentralized alternative for local currencies. Now that its purpose. Now when you look at technology, it's also it's also similar, right? The Bitcoin uses the blockchain for majorly transaction keeping, record keeping, keeping of transaction. Why Ethereum, as well as using the blockchain for record keeping as well, it goes way beyond that. It allows developers to actually create dApps on the blockchain and also smart contracts. Now I know a lot of you might have heard about smart contracts. Smart contracts are self-executing transactions, which are directly written in code. So those are smart contracts. And Ethereum is used to create such, including decentralized services and apps. Now, as much as I would like to go on and on and tell you the difference, I also want to keep to time because I don't really want to spend much time and I want to cover a lot of things. Now, as a new beginner as well, you want to be looking at what exactly, what are the applications to use? What's the difference between a wallet and an exchange? What coin should I buy? What type of token should I buy? How do I deposit? How do I make transaction? All those things you can find in the first book I actually directed you to, which is the Binance Ultimate Paybook. So if you're using the Binance application or maybe even any other exchange, you get those information right here 
and the Binance Ultimate Playbook, it's very, very keen for you. And that's why I said this video is going to cover every single thing. So in case if I'm missing anything and you, there's anything you want to ask, any question about the blockchain or cryptocurrency, you can ask me in the comment section. If you don't find anything in this book, let me know in the comment section and I will do well to help you out with that. Now, as a new trader, the next thing you should put into consideration before starting out trading is volatility. Now, cryptocurrency is a space with high volatility, okay? Crypto could move up, it could move down at any time. So, you need to have in mind the risks you're taking. You need to know exactly what you're going into. And, and yeah, in terms of volatility, I have also packaged something for you. You could check right down and you understand exactly how volatility works. How volatile the crypto market could actually be, those coins you should be careful of, and those type of coins, how to know the right token. I have prepared something for you right here. I'm going to leave the link to that article in the description box of this video. You could go right here, check it out, and you're going to get to see exactly what you need to understand before you kickstart in this journey of cryptocurrency. So as to get successful and a sustainable result. All right, next up, you want to look at the advantage and disadvantage of cryptocurrency, which is very, very important for you to actually look on. Now, the first advantage of cryptocurrency, which I'm sure you already know, is decentralization. Now, in the crypto space, unlike other normal bank and brokerage financial institution, the cryptocurrency is decentralized, which means you can easily make transaction without a central authority, which means it operates on decentralized network and this decentralization can provide greater security transparency resilience against censorship and manipulations yep now next up we we'll look at security now cryptocurrency uses cryptographic technology to secure and control the creation of new units yeah cryptography uh code are uh, unique codes that are used to actually secure and unify a particular transaction Action. We next on we look at lower transaction costs. Now, unlike other bank or institution whereby you may be charged according to the rate of transaction you uh, actually carry out, the crypto space right here has its specific transaction regardless of the amount you send in. It has its particular gas fee. It's very, very little. Especially if you look at the BNB network, I think the cost of the cost for every transaction is around zero point three dollars, which means there is low transaction cost when you use cryptocurrency. Now, next time we look at accessibility. Cryptocurrency allows you easy access to your phones at every given time. So long as you have your phone, you're with your phone, you simply want to access your phones, you could do that right away. Easy access to, to making different type of investment of your choice right from your very own comfort without having to take any permission, sign any document or do any much paperwork now let's cut it there right for the advantage let's look at the disadvantage because every single thing that has advantage has its disadvantage as well now first disadvantage we have is volatility the crypto space no doubt is highly volatile and you really need to be careful when you're interacting or trading in the crypto space because high volatility comes high risks and investment right so you need to be very watchful and you need to understand and also i got you covered with that right here i have put in things about how you can understand the risks or risk management crypto volatility every single thing you need to know about how volatile the crypto is how volatile crypto can get i have a very good article on that and i'm going to link it in the description box of this video read through and trust me after that you come back and thank me all right right up next we have regulatory uncertainty now now cryptocurrency operates in a regulatory gray area. this may lead to uncertainty regarding their legal status and potential regulatory change which is very harmful because in most countries sometimes they may not be accepting cryptocurrency or maybe legally cryptocurrency is not allowed but they have actually not taken notice of it but later on when it begins to affect the economy they're going to take note of it and they're going to make some changes now that is also seen as a disadvantage of cryptocurrency next on we have security yeah i know you're gonna say cryptocurrency is actually secure right just like you've mentioned now yep although cryptocurrency has a very strong security features but it is still vulnerable to hackers and phishing attacks and also other security breach now individuals can equally lose their money if they fall victim to scam or maybe keep their uh, security codes or information in an unsafe environment so you really need to be careful so you need to know this now next on which is the final one we have lack of customer protection now many of you may not understand this but yes 
cryptocurrency also have a lack of customer protection because yes. because transaction are irrevocable in some cases because when you do a transaction via wallet to wallet right it is actually irrevocable you don't have anyone to contact unlike a bank whereby if you make a transaction by mistake to a different bank you could over go over to the bank and try to and they try to make certain corrections and they help you refund the money back this is not the case mostly if you're using a wallet because right now advancement has created exchange and in exchange if you make mistakes you could actually write to the exchange and they could try to see if they could find such and refund back to you but if you're using a wallet that's not the case so you really need to be careful when you're actually doing a crypto transaction and that's why this video is very well for you so that's that for the advantage and disadvantage of cryptocurrency now finally curiosity as a newbie you want to know exactly how cryptocurrency actually gain value right you've been asking yourself how exactly does cryptocurrency gain value what makes it gain value right firstly we have scarcity now most crypto coins are actually limited to a certain hard cap like take for instance the bitcoin has a hard cap of 21 million btc which makes it limited right the limited amount of bitcoin actually makes it scarce which also leads to high pricing which leads to increase in value over time now next up you have its utility now most cryptocurrency like ethereum aside from its native token be being a means of transaction it is also used as a platform to create dApps application which also leads to increase in value that's two now thirdly we have adaptations now when you talk about adaptation you talk about how people adapt to it how people use it when it's used to create an application like ethereum for example used to create a dApps the rate in which people adapt it to use for either transaction or to use its softwares or its dApp token that are being created on it leads to the increase in value over time and give value to that cryptocurrency as well next up we have speculation many of you know how that works a lot of people buy cryptocurrency in speculation of what the price will be and that also helps the value of that cryptocurrency to increase as well finally you have edge against fiat currency devaluation some investors view cryptocurrency as an edge as an edge for them against inflation and currency devaluation like in terms of an economy uncertainty or maybe the central bank engaged in an expansionary monetary policy cryptocurrency may be seen as a store of value which is immune to government manipulations or inflationary pressure this leads to high demand of cryptocurrency and leads to high price now all these factors are what leads to crypto gaining values i believe you understand that now without wasting much of the time let's move on to what are the difference between an exchange and the wallet now if you're new to cryptocurrency also you want to know exactly what does an exchange what's an exchange used for and what's a wallet used for now when you talk about a wallet a wallet's major function is actually to store crypto coin right now you want to say can't you store your crypto coin on your exchange of course you can but wallets are basically used to store crypto and also to participate from dApps application or site using dApps in the wallet depending on the kind of wallet you actually use now when you talk about an exchange an exchange majorly used to trade cryptocurrency now you ask can you why can't you trade your cryptocurrency on your wallet no wallet is no function to allow trading unlike an exchange whereby you can trade both derivative options futures the major difference between an exchange and a wallet is that the wallet is used for savings is majorly used for savings while the exchange is used for participating in derivatives like futures trading option trading margin trading and lots more so the exchange is far more durable compared to the wallet wallet are basically used to store tokens and also to participate in some dApps platform which you could get from the wallet browser now you may majorly want to ask the wallet i will recommend you to use as a beginner i could recommend you to start with trust wallet or metamax wallet these are two most best wallets you can actually use and are easy to understand without much complications and as we move further i'm going to show you how to actually set up your wallet and how you could actually set up your exchange but for now i want you to understand those basic things you need to know before getting started most people don't really know this and that's why when they start up in the crypto space they get to find a lot of difficulty and end up not gaining success in the crypto space at the end of the day they start complaining and lose interest in crypto trading 
Now that's really bad. And this right here, this video could guide you on every single thing you need to know first before getting started into the crypto space. Now I look forward to showing you how you could get started with your wallet, the right wallet to use, the right exchange to use, how to sign up, how to do every verification, and how to get started with trading, depositing, and every other futures there is to know. But for now, I think we should call this one right here. So like I said earlier on, if you're getting started and you really want to make your journey a successful one, make sure you get each of this book I actually indicated in this video. First, you have the 100 ways to earn on Binance, which is going to show you and guide you. Scaling through the whole way of how you need to get started, what you need to do, including futures trading, spot trading, staking, buying, selling, every single thing you need, you can get it and 100 ways to earn from Binance. There are 100 different ways you could earn in the crypto space. So I believe you want to get started with one, two, or maybe 10, or maybe all the 100. So make sure you get it. Also, the Crypto Millionaire right here, which is going to help you 10x your profit in this coming bull run. It's a bull run. So get it. And I know when you make profit, you also want to keep that profit. You don't want to lose it. So definitely, you need this one, which is the profit in the pin dominion. The most insider secret to trade a bear market. All right, guys. Till I see you guys in the next one, it's bye for this one.